Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main uh, function here after that coincides. So until I have taken four integer variable, first is i, next to uh, n, next a double r. So I have a double r, I type variable. So maximum you can enter 155 elements because I have given the size 155. If you want more, then increase the size right here. So next variable LOC. So I have C out function. So whatever in double code that display into the output screen, output screen. And here C in function. So whatever I am going to enter, so that received by n. So I am going to enter n value 5. Here after C out function again. So this or display into the output screen. Uh, into the array elements slash n then cursor comes to the new line here after control comes to for loop so at your i value start from 0 or check the condition 0 less than n value 5 condition is true so that coincides so at your let's enter scene function so let's enter a dollar 0 position new element so at your first i am going to do the indexing of array so this is a 0 index this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So at your a dollar 0 position, I am going to enter 9. Here after that, go up, increase the value of i. So i is 1 now. Check the condition 1 less than 5. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at your, let's enter a dollar 1 position near element. So I am going to enter 6. Here after i increase, so i is 2 now. Or check the condition 2 less than 5, condition is true, so that coincides. So I have to add our 2 person, let's enter new element. So I am going to enter 5. Here after I increase, so I is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5, condition is true, so that coincides. So I have to, let's enter add our 3 person new element. So 3 person I am going to enter 4. Here after I increase, so I is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5, condition is true, so that coincides. Let's enter add our 4 person new element. So for person, I'm going to enter 12. Here after i is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not true, not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. See out function. So at here, this are displaying to the output screen. Enter number to search. And the cursor comes to the new line. Here, whatever I'm going to enter, so that is by LOC. So I'm going to enter LOC value 4. So here after i value start from 0 again. Or check the condition 0 less than n value 5 condition is true so that coincides right here it will have 0 position double equal to log so 0 position is 9 log value is now 4 so loc value is 4 here after condition is not true not coincide so here after that go increase the value of i so i is now 1 check the condition 1 less than n value 5 condition is true so that coincides right here a dollar one position double equal to log. So one position six equal six six double equal to four. Condition is not to not coincide here after I increase. So I is now two. Or check the condition two less than log value. Sorry, n value five. Condition is two. So two less than five. Here a dollar two position double equal to log. So two position four is there. Oh sorry, five is there. Five double equal to four. Condition is not true. Not coincide. I gonna increase. So I is three now. Check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is true that coincides right here 8 over 3 position double equal to 4 so 3 position 4 is there so 4 equal to 4 condition is true so that coincides right here see so out function so log value 4 output display into the output screen 4 is present at i plus 1 so i value is now 3 plus 1 4 so 4 is present at 4 here after int so in endl so cursor comes to the new line. Here after control comes to break a statement. So that terminates the for loop. Now here after comes to this point, i double equal to n. So i value is now 3, n value 5. So i value at here 3, n value 5. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after that out for main function. So if I enter LOC value 4, then output come 4 is present at 4 location. Suppose if I enter non matching value or uh, example 3, so 3 is not in the array. So what will, have, what will happen? I value start from 0 again. Or check the condition n value 5. 
or zero less than five condition is true so that coincides right here lc value is three i enter so eight overall zero position nine nine double equal to three condition is not true not coincide here after i is one so one less than five condition is true so that coincide eight or odd one position six six double equal to three condition is not true not coincide here after i increase i is two now two less than or uh, five condition is true so that coincide so right here eight or two position double equal to three condition is not true not coincide here after i increase so i is now three or check condition three less than five condition is true so eight or three position double equal to low so three position four is the four double equal to three condition is not true not coincide here after I increase, so I is now 4, 4 less than 5, condition is 2. So I do 8 over 4 position double equal to long. So 4 position is 12, 2 double equal to 3, condition is not to not coincide. Here after I is now 5. So the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So if I double equal to n, so I value is now 5, n value 5. So 5 equal to 5, condition is 2, so that coincides right here. Output come, LOC value 3. 3 not in the array. Hereafter, or slash n, then cursor comes to the main line. So if, if you enter 3 values, so 3 is not present, so output comes this. 3 not in the array. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next.